The time has come for a new SEM series. I've learned a lot of things, I've changed a few things, the world has changed a little bit, and so it's really just time for an update. In this SEM series, there will be some new things. For example, I've removed some things. I no longer am going to be showing tests for homoscedasticity and linearity, because there are debates about these currently, and most journals don't even ask about them. I'm going to add some things, including tests for influentials in uh, multivariate assumptions, a test for multigroup analysis in Amos. I'm going to show you how to use that multigroup uh, manage multigroup models button that I've never used before. I've clarified and corrected many, many things. Um, there are better ways to do common method bias tests, and in the past, the ones I've used have not been. Um, rigorously supported by literature, although there is loose support. So I now use uh, literature-supported tests, multi-group comparisons using a chi-score difference test, again using the built-in functionality in Amos. New mediation approach. I wrote an S-demand um, that you can just download and save into your Amos area to help us identify exact mediated or indirect effects. Also, there have been some updates here on uh, whether or not to use Baron, Kenny, and things like that. I fixed the validity tool. In the past, it has estimated error for um, composite reliability. And so now it uses exact error and variance. So that's better. It's actually not they're very much different, um, but in some cases it can make a big difference. I've created a new plugin, or I guess I've updated an old plugin. The CLF plugin uh, now works with the new CMB approach. I've created a new S-demand file and updated my stats tools package. All of these are updated on the wiki. I should just show you right now. So um, let's see. We have the Excel stats tools. This is the updated version. Um, if you're not sure if you have the updated version, go to the About tab and you'll see a more recent 2016 uh, update date. There is the updated Amos CLF plugin and the new Amos A times B S-demand. So all of those are available and ready for you. I've also added a references page to StatWiki. This has been requested for years, and I've been meaning to do it. And finally, uh, one of the good participants online uh, urged me to do this and sent me a bunch of references, and I really thank uh, them for that. So we have the references section. If I go to that, you'll see dozens and dozens and dozens of unorganized, sorry, unorganized references. These, if you just do control F and search for whatever it is you want to search for, let's say uh, partial least, there we go, partial least squares, PLS, you'll find whatever it is you're looking for. So lots of references there. If you guys happen to have references that I don't have listed here that you think would be helpful for uh, most people doing SEM, please send them to me. I'd be very interested. Let's see, that's the references page. And overall, uh, just more precise language. I've learned more precision in statistics, and I've learned a lot from several people and uh, several uh, books and, and whatnot. So hopefully my language will be more precise, my expl explanations and claims will be more uh, grounded, and the procedures will be more correct. I'll be relying somewhat less on just pure logic and more on um, grounded literature-based approaches. So that's what's new. I'm going to be walking through, as in the previous um, SEM series, I'll be walking through this order of operations, which you can find on the general guidelines page. And we'll be going through each of these things, not thoroughly through these first two, although I will show you the current model. So the current model that we're gonna test is a little bit simpler than last time. Last time it was a really complex model and we certainly didn't get to everything. And I think that added complexity added confusion. So this time we're going to test a somewhat simplified model and we're going to use the same variables, the same data. That data is available on the home page of the StatWiki. If you scroll down to YouTube SEM series data, it's the exact same data from last time. So you can use that. Um, let's go back to here. So here's the model, same variables. Um, it's about, it's data from students at BYU. Um, and we asked them about how they use Excel. And we asked about information acquisition, decision quality, usefulness, enjoyment, playfulness, atypical use, asked how long they had been using Excel. 
and um, we grabbed their demographic information like gender and we're going to control for age and frequency of use. So a fairly simple model and I'm actually only going to propose three hypotheses. Now when you do this, when you have your own data and your own model, you will not be proposing probably three hypotheses. You might have an H1A, H1B, H1C, multiple mediation hypotheses, multiple multi-group hypotheses, um, but for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to propose three and um, go from there. And we'll, there are three different kinds and we'll test each of those. So that's the plan. Hopefully this will all work out and we will all be a wee bit smarter.